talk to me. Where's... No! No! Where is Gabe? You have to let what me go! Happened? No, I am not gonna let you go. You tell me where what happened Where is the to Gabe? blood from? Grant did it. What? Grant? He was blackmailing me. Grant did what? Me. He was blackmailing me. He said that if I didn't do what he wanted, if I didn't get Vicky and Bobby's blood, he'd die. Who would die? Grant would die? No, Gabe! Gabe! Grant shot Gabe! That's He shot him. He's dead. No. Isn't dead, Grant, you had him killed because I told him the truth. He'll kill me too. Oh God, he'll kill me too. Officer Watts here. I need to speak to the captain right away. Do you have any idea what this will do to Lorna when she finds this out? Oh, do Lorna, you? Lorna, Lorna, I have to tell her. I'm sorry. I have to tell her. I tried to stop him. Shut, I shut up! To... Shut up! Shut up! Captain McNamara was just pronounced dead from a gunshot wound. Oh, oh no. No. Oh, oh, oh. No! Oh. Senator, I am arresting you for the conspiracy to commit murder. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you. I'm really not sure how she's going to react. On the night that my daughter was raped, I was so busy condemning her. Jenna, my other daughter, called me from a bar. She was very upset. Her sister was too drunk to drive home and too stubborn to allow anyone other than strangers to do it. I was filled with rage. How could a child of a recovering alcoholic, a child of mine, be so irresponsible and so stupid about liquor? And then the worst. I decided to let her sink, sink however low she could. It was a decision that I shall regret all of my life. She was shaking, shaking so hard, I, I thought she'd never stop. And then she told me the nightmare of the faceless man who pinned her against her sofa. She tried to fight him off, but he was too strong and she was too drunk. He hiked her dress up to her waist. He ripped at her stockings, forced her legs apart. He was inside her. Mama? 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 Five minutes. 
I didn't go up to the lodge to be with Shane. I went because of his research, his, his research that he had been research. working on. He, he was about to throw it all away, and I got trapped time. up at up the flying. storm, got, and I didn't... Got trapped. got trapped up in the storm, so what did you do, sit down and have some cocoa with him? Jake, please. Jake, please what? I was in that storm, remember? With Michael, the men in your life. Well, two of them, anyway. Do you remember me breaking down, Vicky? Do you remember me telling you how much I hated myself because I didn't trust you? Suspecting the worst, you know what you told me? I didn't need to apologize. How very big of you. I'm sorry. You're sorry. I'll bet. I'll bet. So what, uh... Y'all do it with the lights on or off? Nothing happened. Nothing Jake. happened. Nothing no, nothing happened. happened. I'm sure that I'm sure that he didn't he didn't kiss you. You didn't touch him. Jake, please. Jake, what? Please don't. don't hurt. What? Don't get these these pictures in your head. Well, I'm sorry, Vicky. I have had them for a long time now. I kept telling something. Kim, what are you thinking? Is, is you beautiful, loving? one who never does a lie. You're the man I wanted. You're the man I wanted. I was in meeting you. I was at home. Why didn't you just come home, Vicky? Look, I made a mistake. You said if you made a mistake and this was all the big lie. Why didn't you just tell me if this was some innocent thing that happened? I swear to you. You swear, you swear to me, Vicky. Why don't you swear to me? You tell you what, you swear to stack of those through the roof and I still don't believe you. I'm, I'm not lying. You're not lying. I'm sorry. Sit down, everybody. You want to watch us? Sit down. Sit down! She's not lying now. This is different. This is different, isn't it, Vicky? This one's different. I swear to God, I wish I could talk to Shane right now so I could apologize to him. I thought that man was certifiable. Walking in our wedding, down the aisle, up like he, like he knew you were his. You know something? He wasn't crazy, Vicky. You know why he wasn't crazy? Because he knew you wanted him. No. Nothing. No. Nothing! Don't insult my intelligence! You have been covering this up for nothing! It wasn't nothing. Two men died because of what I did. But I wasn't unfaithful to you. I wasn't. Oh, come on, Vicky. You and I both know that you didn't, you didn't drive up that snowy covered mountain for research. We both know that you, that you didn't hide from me for research. You didn't lie about being in Chicago for research. You wanted to sleep with Shane Roberts. No. And I was too stupid to see that it was right in front of my face. No. I was too stupid to see it, Vicky. You know something? I did. I, I gotta tell you though. I gotta tell you though. I, you know, I know that you tried. I know that you tried, Vic, because you were willing to move your whole family to New York to get away from him. Remember that? You know, the fact is that you married me. This is where I'm a little confused, and you're going to have to help me out with this one. You see, if you married me, knowing that you wanted to marry another man when the minister said, do you, why just, why just did you say, I don't? Why did you? Because I love you! Well, you love me. That's what she's done here. You love me. Oh, honey. If this is being loved by you, I'd rather be Shane. All right. All right, that's it. Jake. Time's up. Jake. Come on. Jake. 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 Jake.